forever young. It's probably the greatest of all human dreams. Like no other masterpiece in history, The Fountain of Youth by Lucas Cranach stands for the desire of a longer and better life. And so does this woman, Gordana Vunyak Novakovic, a pioneer in the field of regenerative medicine. Old people are a little bit like old cars. After many kilometers, things start to break beyond the point of repair and they need to be replaced. And we do the same thing for our body. If a vital organ fails, then we are looking for an opportunity and possibility to replace it with a lab-grown equivalent. The scientist conducts her research at Columbia University in New York. Her vision is to exchange damaged organs with replacement organs that fit perfectly. The difference being that the new organ does not come from a dead donor, but from the laboratory. And the genetic origin of the new organ is the patients themselves. Gordana Vunyak Novakovic uses adult stem cells for this purpose. They're found in many parts of the body, where they do their job throughout life to form new cells of the respective tissue. Her idea is to get these cells to form a new tissue that she wants. And this is what the process looks like in reality. If a patient suffers damage to their skull as a result of an accident, for example, the researchers first scan the missing bone to obtain the 3D data for a replacement part. This part is milled from a sterile animal bone and later becomes home to special cells from the accident victim. Gordoner's team takes these cells from patients via needle biopsy, adult stem cells from the patient's own fatty tissue. These cells are naive. You can guide them in any direction to make any kind of tissue. And what we have done in this case was to instruct them specifically how to make a bone tissue. And that is exactly what happens in the bioreactor. This is, so to speak, an incubator for tissue and in the best case, for entire organs. It ensures that the adult fat stem cells multiply inside the new bone blank. As soon as the stem cells feel comfortable in their new home, they turn into new cells, bone-forming cells. The formerly dead bone begins a new life, is genetically identical to the recipient, and when implanted in the patient, grows together optimally with the surrounding tissue. The procedure already passed the practical test in summer 2019, the mission to replace the connection between the skull and the jaw of a patient. This is a really exciting story. A special thing about the ramus bone is that this is the most heavily loaded bone in our body. Our reasoning was that if we can build this bone and show that it holds after implantation, then this really opens the path to making many other bones. This means that in the future, no bone in our body will have to be exchanged for donor bone, plastic or titanium prostheses. This technology can really be used to repair any bone in our body. And that is not all. The next organs coming from the bioreactors in her lab, lungs, heart, liver, cartilage, and blood vessels. This kind of ingenuity needs to be protected. So the scientist and her team hold a high number of patents on their processes. Inventions Protected, she has co-founded four companies, all based on technologies she developed with her lab at Columbia University. And it was clear that the worldwide coronavirus outbreak would also bring the universal genius Gordana Vunyak Novakovic onto the scene. Our laboratory developed a new technology for uh, repairing human lungs as COVID came into the picture, it was very logical that we try to use this technology to try to repair 
uh, human lungs that are damaged by COVID. So we are now investigating a new uh, treatment option, which is based on inhalation medicine. And the active component of this medication is actually a molecule that is secreted by the stem cells. In the future, humankind will grow more and more replacement organs in the laboratory, the fulfillment of an age-old dream. A longer and better life, thanks to Gordana Vunyak-Novakovic.